Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is just a discussion video. I wanted to run this by you guys and see what you thought. I'm thinking about restarting my Discord bot tutorial series because, well, for a few reasons. First of all, C Sharp and Visual Studio are Windows exclusive, and there are a lot of people who watch my videos who use Mac and Linux, and I would like to open it up to them because you can develop um, for Discord on those platforms as well. Also, Discord.net, which is the library we've been using to make C Sharp Discord bot, is, well, it's incomplete. And I don't blame the developers at all. They're working hard and they've made a great thing. But in its current state, it's unfinished. And um, the Discord 0 0.9, I had to jump through a lot of hoops to um, get the air horn sound effect working. Um, there's a lot of things that I had to figure out that were not documented and the solutions I found weren't even um, on a discord forum. It was just someone, um, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't even need to explain it. I am pretty confident that discord 1.0 or discord.net 1.0 will fix these problems, but I'm not really willing to wait and it's not cross platform. And also, the point of these tutorials was to be, you know, as simple as possible. And I think picking C sharp may have missed the mark. I think between like C sharp and C plus plus C sharp is simpler, but, um, look at this. This is, this is the discord.js GitHub page. Discord.js is a JavaScript library for discord. This is an entire bot right here. Um, so it connects, it says I'm ready into the, in the, the console. And then every time you say ping, it replies with Pong. And that's the whole bot. We, we kind of made this bot in, um, C sharp, but it took like two, possibly three videos. And, um, it, it took so much more code, uh, but to be fair, visual studio did create a lot of the code, but this is just simpler to reason with, especially if you've never coded before like it's just less noise to, to work with. So that that's kind of where I am. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm pretty set on doing this, but if you guys have a very strong opinion one way or the other, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate the support from you guys and I, I hate to start this over again, but I think this is the right thing to do. There's just been all these technical problems that I've had with discord.net only because it's an unfinished library. And I think if I switched to a different library, I could solve those issues. So I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.